The next one on the list is the ellipsis here, the uh, conic sections, but we'll skip this one and go straight into measurements here. We already saw how area was measured, so this time we are going to measure angles here. So to measure an angle, you need an angle. So shall we make one? So I will make a line segment here, and I will make one here. Okay, now I'm ready to measure the angle here. How? So you choose angle measurement of these, choose angle. Then you have to go around as if your left hand is wrapping around. So imagine your left hand doing this kind of wrapping. So it's a bad drawing. So here's your thumb and here are your um, left hand fingers. It looks kind of gross, but you get the idea. So I have to go uh, choose the angle, right? And then I have to go this, this, then you see the angle appearing. So there we go. What happens if you go the wrong way? Suppose you wrap around with the right hand. Then this is what happens. Let me show you here. So if I go with right hand, so I wrap around this way, then you do get outside angle. So that's not, that may be what you want, but then again, well, maybe. If I move this around, then that becomes the angle you want. Okay, but anyway, normally we, you want to measure the acute angle here. So this is what we get. So as you move it here, once again, it measures as if it's uh, in real time, like that. Okay, so what? Now, let me erase the whole thing. Control A, delete here. Let's make a triangle. So here we go. It's made of three segments. So click, 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 click. So let's find the angle. So use left hand to wrap around here. Got it. And then let's do it again. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay. Let's also learn to measure the length here. So here we go. If I have distance or length here. So just between two points, one, two. So I got that. One, two. I got that. One, two. Then I got that. So now I will be able to move it. So let's make a um, three, four, five triangle and see if it gives us um, 90 degrees here. So I want to have length of three. So from five to two would be three, right? So if I go here, there's my length of three. I want to have length of four this way. So from three to seven would give me four. So when I do this here, whoa, hypotenuse is three and the angle is 90 degrees. And when it's 90, it turns like that. That's very nice, isn't it? Let's do another famous one. That's the uh, central angle versus inscribed angle in a circle. So I will draw a circle with this one, two. Let me move it to some place I can see. Okay, I will make it a little bigger. Let's move this guy away. Uh, I think it would be easier to move my circle here. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to pick any arbitrary two points on the circle. Notice that they stay on the circle. I cannot, even if I move sideways, it would not go. It stays on the circle here. Let's have a central angle here. So here we go. Got it. Click. Click. I got it. I'd like to see how big this angle is. So I'm going to use the angle measurement here and measure it. Wrap around with my left hand. So here we go. That's the size of it. So I will be able to change this angle to whatever I want and see it. If this is hard to read, then you can choose the click the angle and move it. There we go. But then again, depending on where you go, it may get in the way again. Actually not. Okay, we got it. So now this time we are going to draw an inscribed angle. Inscribed angle will start from here and go to anywhere on the circumference, uh, on the circle. So here, let me have an A point on the circle here. And let me connect them. So click there. And, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Cancel. Click. Oh, this one. Click there. Then click. And here. So this is an inscribed angle. So let me measure it. So go from here, here, here. So the theory is this. The inscribed angle has to be always half of the uh, central angle. So let me have a central angle to be some number that I can easily see. I got to choose this. And how about something like 80? That would be a nice number that I can divide by 2. Can I hit it? Normally I can't. There's a 
there's not enough dots on it, but it's close enough to 80, isn't it? So this got to be close enough to 40, and sure it is. Now, if I go, and let me make it easier to see, move the angle out here. Okay, now you see. No matter where I go, it is 40. So now, if I move this here, then you see, okay, let's have a, some easy number to double this time. So how about 25? Yes, I can handle that if I can get there. Okay, close enough to uh, 25, and sure enough, it's close enough to 50, you see. So there are a lot of theorems in geometry. This kind of a numerical computation doesn't compute a thing. But because there are theorems that are proven, it should never have an exception. So you cannot prove anything by doing it this way, but you can witness the theorem in action by seeing it is actually working. And also, if the theorem is false, then you can see it in action the disproof. See, you take you need only one counterexample to disprove something. So it's very easy to disprove. So anytime anyone says something fishy, do this here and find one exception, then you're done. You just just disproved it. But if you found two thousand supporting cases, as is the case here, look at that. They're all twenty five, right? Does it prove that this is always half of fifty? No. You don't know. There could be some point that you missed in the middle here. So that's why you got to go through the proof to see for sure that n nobody would, uh, you can sleep in peace thinking, knowing that nobody will come up with a counterproof tomorrow. But this is a good way to check something you suspect. And when you do something like this and it does work and you don't know why, that means it should be provable. And that's, that gives you, it, it sets you on the right path, the path that has some promise of working. If it already failed here, then there's no point in going. Instead, if you saw that there, in some angles, this was not half of that, but most of the time it is, but sometimes it's not, then you got to look for somebody who claimed that and you can go there to debunk them.